Somebody online asked, how do you transfer an animation in 2017? We don't have oinker winkles. So I'm going to give you an example here. Now this is a program, Disarm. Some of you might be familiar with it. It's uh, something I created to make modeling easy. So you can just click unit and you can say footman. You can say, look, I have a footman. I'll disarm him. It deletes his sword. Now his sword is deleted. Now I'm going to click add from unit. I'm going to click on orc grunt and uh, I want to add the weapon more generous sure a lot of these things I'm not sure exactly if they matter we're just gonna keep typing weapon there we go we added the grunts axe onto the footman by just typing weapon in all the boxes and clicking yes forgetting whatever else there is to worry about there now what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm going to go to my Warcraft models tutorial folder I'm going to save this as footman underscore grunt axe because he is a footman with a grunt's axe. Now I am going to open this in the matrix eater uh, dev build from today where I will click on binary footman grunt axe and I will open this model and we will see now we have in the matrix eater footman with a grunt's axe. Now what I will do is click add animation single from unit and I am going to add from the grunt. Now it asks me which grunt animation do I want. I will choose attack. Now, which of the footman's animations should it take visibility data from? So that's like, if you were going to transfer a death animation, it would need to know whether to make the footman's corpse visible or not. In this case, we're just going to copy from the footman attack animation, and it'll use that visibility data. Then we click OK, and it says, added grunts attack one with attack one's visibility. OK. Now what we will do is we will open the Magos model viewer to see the animations of our creation, uh, which is right here. That opens up and will take a moment and I will say file open models uh, tutorials footman grunt axe. Now if you look at this model, uh, if we go to our animation controller, we have attack one and attack two, but we don't have the attack from the grunt because I forgot to push save. So what we will do now is we will click file save and now we reopen it and there should be two attack animations. One of them being the grunts attack animation right here. Now, now you can see that uh, you could spend some time if you were a really serious model editor and you could sort of tweak the way he animates right here. But it's brought in the grunts attack animation on the footman and he has kept his original footman attack animation as well. And that is how you transfer Warcraft unit animations and weapons in 2017.